Some Inland Empire firefighters, meantime, had to respond to an emergency at their own station after a car smashed right into the building. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez live in Rialto with a look at what happened. Good morning, Rick. Yeah, good morning, Tina Rudabay. You know, this is pretty incredible because they the car landed right in the living area of this fire station. And you can see behind me, it it's hard to tell the damage from the outside, but that window is boarded up. The building is now red tagged after this car went flying right inside. So that's the moment they pulled the four door sedan out of the building. Incredibly, no one was hurt seriously. I just talked with the city official who said uh, that minutes before the crash, paramedics were sitting on the couches in that living room. They got a call and they left. The car that crashed inside landed right on those couches. The car caught fire after the crash, and of course, the flames were quickly put out. The driver, who is suspected of driving under the influence, only suffered minor injuries. He was taken away in an ambulance to be checked out at the hospital. This all happened Saturday night around 9.15. The damage is extensive. This fire station now red tagged. I'm told there's damage to the roof on the inside and the fire suppression system because at the angle the car was going upward when it flew into the building, it crashed right into the ceiling. The firefighters are now deployed to other fire stations in the area. The city has a total of five stations. Two of those now will cover the one, the area, I should say, that this one typically covers. And again, from the outside, it's difficult to tell how badly damaged this building is. And I also have to tell you, this is not the first time a car has crashed into this building. About four years ago was the most recent time. So now the city is looking into whether they build a wall out here or something. They have to take other measures to prevent this from happening again. Reporting live in Rialto, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Wow, Rick, thank you.